So with the rise of startups, hot desking, and flat organizations, one thing that every single office that's been built in the last 20 years has in common is that they're open plan. Polish concrete, white walls, and open plan. Most of the contemporary homes that have been built in the last two decades are Scandinavian influence, purist, white on white, soulless, and open living. Bash down the walls, make one room out of three, get rid of the pillars. We're all forced to work in really awkward situations at work and all you can hear is mouse clicks and like chitter chatter and we're forced to do things like this, which is fucking painful. <laughs> Children have no place to escape from their irritating siblings. Thanks to their living room that leads into their dining room, that leads into their kitchen, that leads into their bathroom, that leads into another bedroom and then their balcony. But it's great because, God, there's so much space now. <laughs> Even when you want to get out of your work or out of your home, you're either forced to sit at a cafe at a communal table with families you don't know, or you have to lie on fashion concrete next to other strangers on coloured towels. Now, probably because of my size or lack thereof, one thing that I've been passionate about since I was very young, and little, or littler, is nooks, cubbies, crannies, nests, bays, whatever you like to call it, love little spaces. I love finding that corner alcove on an L-shaped sofa to nestle into and do some work. I actually get as many cushions as I can on Sunday and I bury them into the corner of my balcony so I can have a little space that I can read and do anything with Instagram, probably. <laughs> now, you'd all be lying if you said that you don't get some sort of satisfaction when your partner tells you you can't park in a park that's too small for you. That's how I feel, like, all the time. <laughs> you see a modular bookshelf, I see a challenge. <laughs> so taking all of the amount of space that we have now, I don't know about you, but it's sort of hard enough being a midget without the intimidation of so much space. So what I'd like you to do is propose the maybe consideration of smaller spaces. A nook by, by definition means one of two things. First, a corner or alcove or recess, especially in a large room. Secondly, a hidden or secluded spot. Does not sound that bad, does it? I can't tell you the amount of times that I've wanted to find a hidden or secluded spot. In fact, before I stood up here tonight, I was convinced I was going to do a runner, find a hidden or secluded spot, and just wait till the whole fucking thing was over. <laughs> Luckily for you, I chose otherwise. Now, can I get a raise of hands of those of you who get easily distracted at work? Awesome, yeah, everyone thought so. And uh, now can I get a raise of hands of those of you who distract everyone at work? <laughs> Boom, like you people. I'm your classic distractor. School reports always indicated, Poppy needs to learn to stop distracting others. Poppy needs to work on her concentration. Basically, the quieter I was supposed to be was when shit would really fly. SSR meant sit, stir, repeat. But what I learned about being taken away from my buddies and put into these corners, they helped me to do something special. Now, you haven't heard of this acronym before because I made it up. It's called to gets. Gets, if you're... Like, I'm a, I'm a New Zealander. Um, it means to get in the zone. You might actually be a creative or a writer or just a kid building a bloody Lego castle, trying to get away from your siblings from smashing down your pride and joy. Getting into the zone and finding a nook helps you do these things properly with intent. You might be a writer trying to release a creative block, trying to get away from the disturbia of a massive office or the journalists that are scrambling around you. Finding that hidden or secluded spot helps everything and makes it all a little bit better. Now, you need props. So you need blankets, you need coffee, you need tea, you need cookies, you need booze, you need drugs. Like You need, need, need fucking everything. <laughs> and that will actually help you create the white noise, funny enough. <laughs> Introvert. Get their distraction-free, human-free, interaction-free zone, and extroverts can take their loud asses to the corner of a room, build a nook, and do some fucking work without distracting everybody else. 
Children can find cosy crevices in the corner of their open plan living rooms to play dolls and build their Lego. And one can find solace in a small space that's tailor-made to take them away from the environment of everyday life. Now, if I haven't already convinced you, I encourage you to go home tonight. Make a nook. Go to work tomorrow. Make a nook. Get a buddy to make a nook too, because I believe that they are the way forward. Thank you very much. Thank you.